Hey guys! In this video, I'll show you how to create an anime movie with a consistent character face using illustrious version 2.0 Flux LoRa Training. One of the biggest challenges in AI-generated anime is keeping the character's face the same across different scenes. But with Flux LoRa Training, we can fix that. Today, we'll train a custom anime girl character, generate multiple consistent images, and set the foundation for a full AI-powered anime movie. By the end of this tutorial, you'll know exactly how to train Laura online, fine-tune character consistency, and create stunning AI-generated anime scenes, all with illustrious version 2.0. So, let's dive in. First, head over to the Tensor Art homepage. Click the link in my description and sign in using my referral link to instantly get 100 free credits in your account. Once you're in, look at the top of the page where you'll find various tools available for creating consistent anime character faces with different poses. For this tutorial, we need to click on the online training tool, which will help us train our Laura model. Now, on the training page, the first step is to choose the model theme. Since I want to train an anime style model, I'll select the SD3 Flux standard. After that, it's time to choose a base model. I'm going with Illustrious XL Pro, which offers two free training sessions before needing a Pro subscription. After selecting the model, you'll see two key options, Repeat and Epoch. Repeat tells the system how many times each image is reused per epoch. For example, if you have 10 images and set Repeat to 5, your model sees a total of 50 images per epoch. Epoch refers to one full cycle through your training data. So, if you set it to 25 epochs, your model will go through all your images 25 times. Increasing repeats and epochs deepens the learning. But be careful, because too much can lead to overfitting. Now, let's talk about trigger words. These are special keywords you create that activate your trained model when included in prompts. For example, I named my anime character Aika. So I'll use Aika as my trigger word. Next is the model effect preview prompt. This is the test prompt you enter to preview how well your model performs after training. It should describe the kind of image you want the model to generate. Since I'm creating an anime girl character, I'll use a prompt like one girl, short brown hair, brown eyes, white school uniform, anime style, smiling, consistent face. This helps test whether the model has learned the concept properly. Once you've configured all the settings, you're ready to move forward and start training your model. Next, let's upload our training images for the LoRa model. You can add up to 1,000 images for the best results. But for this demo, I'm uploading 16 images of my anime character. Remember, the more varied images you include, the better your model will learn. After uploading, click on each image to review its auto-generated tags. These describe the character's features that the model will pick up. Feel free to remove or adjust any tags that don't fit. Once you're happy with the tags, click Start Train. This will begin the training process, which usually takes several minutes to complete. When the training finishes, you'll see a list of completed epics. To turn one of these into a usable model, Select the epic you want and click Create a Project. Give your project a name. Choose the art style to auto-populate relevant tags and add any extra tags you need. Then fill in a short description and assign a version number if you'd like. Finally, click Publish to make your new LoRa model available. Now that your custom model is live, click Run to start generating images. Enter a prompt such as one girl, short brown hair, brown eyes, white school uniform, anime style, smiling, consistent face. Adjust any additional settings and hit Generate. Just like that, you'll have stunning, consistent illustrations in your chosen style. Tensor Art gives you free daily credits, and if you need more, you can upgrade to the Pro plan for higher quality and higher volume generations. I'll leave the link in the description so you can try it yourself. That's it for today's tutorial. 
I'd love to hear how your training goes. Drop your thoughts and results in the comments below. If you found this video helpful, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more AI powered art and animation tutorials. Thanks for watching.